Ah. This is it. Former President Barack Obama seems to be having a difficult time relinquishing control after leaving the White House. Recently, while he was in Indonesia, he decided to undermine President Trump. Now, Trump has just informed the former president that his actions are more than tasteless. In fact, they violate the Logan Act. Obama crossed a serious line by meeting with South Korean President Moon Jae-in for a 40-minute chat. Moon allegedly spoke with Obama about his meeting with Trump, and Obama offered advice on how to improve their relations. The Logan Act is a law which details a fine or imprisonment of unauthorized citizens that negotiate with foreign governments engaged in an active dispute with the United States. When Obama returned from his trip, he will be forced to confront Newt Gingrich and President Trump about this violation. Pope Francis slams President Trump with disgusting insult following his G20 speech. As the Polish experience reminds us, the defense of the West ultimately rests not only on means but also on the will of its people to prevail, President Donald Trump said during his G20 speech. The fundamental question of our time is whether the West has the will to survive. After his appearance, Pope Francis spoke out against the commander in chief. Last Thursday, I got a call from Pope Francis, La Repubblica reporter Eugenia Scalfari claims. It was about noon, and I was at the newspaper when my phone rang. Pope Francis told me to be very concerned about the meeting of the G20, Scalfari added. I am afraid there are very dangerous alliances between powers who have a distorted view of the world, America and Russia, China and North Korea, Russia and Assad in the war in Syria. The danger concerns immigration. Our main and unfortunately growing problem in the world today is that of the poor, the weak, the excluded, which includes migrants. This is why the G20 worries me, it mainly hits immigrants, Pope Francis reportedly said. I also thought many times to this problem and came to the conclusion that, not only but also, for this reason, Europe must take as soon as possible a federal structure, he allegedly continued. What do you think of Pope Francis' comment? Maxine Waters bans Trump supporters from town hall, watch what happens next. On Saturday, Rep. Maxine Waters was booed and confronted by Trump protesters after a town hall event in Gardena. According to the American Mirror, Waters tried to rig a friendly forum by only allowing her friends to attend. Though Trump supporters received tickets to the event, they were treated as second-class citizens and given yellow wristbands. Video footage from outside the venue shows about 50 Trump supporters waving American flags and pro-Trump banners, chanting let us in. Police blocked the doors and prevented them from entering. This is just the latest in a series of controversial missteps from Rep. Waters in the course of the last year. She has previously made headlines for calling for Trump's impeachment, and subsequently denying it. We knew it massive Democrat scandal exposed, Trump was right. President Trump has been pushing for an investigation into last year's election, but Democrats are doing everything in their power to block his efforts. Their resistance begs the question, what do Democrats have to hide? According to Fox News, many Democrat state officials are simply refusing to cooperate with Trump's investigation by neglecting to hand over the voter roll data the commission is seeking. This comes shortly after Chris Kobach, the Kansas Secretary of State, wrote to all 50 states asking for their input and voter registration data. I have no intention of honoring this request, Virginia Democratic Governor Terry McAuliffe responded in a statement. Virginia conducts fair, honest, and democratic elections, and there is no evidence of significant voter fraud in Virginia. Trump initially created the panel in May after he argued that 3 million to 5 million people illegally voted in the 2016 presidential election. At best this commission was set up as a pretext to validate Donald Trump's alternative election facts, and at worst is a tool to commit large-scale voter suppression, McAuliffe continued. He wasn't the only Democrat to take this stand for their state. California's participation would only serve to legitimize the false and already debunked claims of massive voter fraud made by the president, 
the vice president, and Mr. Kobach, said California Secretary of State Alex Padilla. Breaking Chelsea Clinton and her unemployed husband caught doing the unthinkable. Chelsea Clinton jetted off to the Hamptons this weekend for a vacation with her husband, Mark Mazvinsky, who is currently unemployed. The couple was spotted having dinner in a magazine set on Friday night. The former first daughter was clearly taking a break from promoting her children's book, she persisted. Though she was too busy lounging to tweet over the weekend, she came back full force on Monday when she decided to engage in a Twitter fight with President Donald Trump. The confrontation began with Trump bringing up Chelsea as he defended his daughter Rika, who was being attacked by liberals for sitting in for him at the G20 summit. When I left conference room for short meetings with Japan and other countries, I asked Ivka to hold seat, Trump tweeted. Very standard. Angela M. agrees. If Chelsea Clinton were asked to hold the seat for her mother, as her mother gave our country away, the fake news would say Chelsea for prez. He continued. Less than an hour later, Chelsea fired back with this, Good morning Mr. President. It would never have occurred to my mother or father to ask me. Were you giving our country away? Hoping not. Clearly, Chelsea was feeling confident in her response. But it didn't take long for Americans to knock her down a peg or two. That's because your mom would have asked Huma and your father would have asked the woman under the desk, Ado Suzy Q tweeted. Seriously? This from the daughter of the woman who sold our uranium to Russia. Another Twitter user chimed in. What do you think of Chelsea's comments? Is she clearly clueless? If she is determined to defend her corrupt parents, she's got an uphill battle ahead of her. Trump follows through with his promise in a huge way you'll be satisfied to see who he just fired. Before he took office, Donald Trump promised to clean up the Department of Veteran Affairs, labeling it the most incompetently run agency in the United States. Now, just months into his presidency, he's already following through with his promise in a major way. Since Trump has been president, 548 VA employees have been fired, 200 have been suspended and dozens more have been demoted. Those receiving disciplinary actions include senior leaders, nurses, police officers, and physicians. This is just the beginning of VA Secretary David Shulkin's commitment to greater transparency. Shulkin was appointed by Barack Obama but had become increasingly frustrated with the American Federation of Government Employees Union and other groups by the end of his presidency. They seem to be more concerned with incompetent employees getting a paycheck than hurting veterans. Just last week we were forced to take back an employee after they were convicted no more than three times for DWI and had served a 60-day jail sentence, Shulkin said of operations. Our accountability processes are clearly broken. Trump is clearly a man of his word and it's refreshing to see him addressing these important issues. Do you agree? Chelsea Clinton runs her fat mouth at Trump, ends horribly for her. At the G20 in Hamburg, Germany this past weekend, Ivka Trump temporarily filled in for her father in a session, a relatively common practice among leaders at the G20. When the liberal media attempted to attack Trump, German Chancellor Angela Merkel came to his defense. Trump later addressed the controversy himself on social media. When I left conference room for short meetings with Japan and other countries, I asked Ivka to hold seat, Donald J. Trump said. Very standard. Angela M. agrees. Trump then compared the media's attacks on Ivka to the way they cover Chelsea Clinton. If Chelsea Clinton were asked to hold the seat for her mother, as her mother gave our country away, the fake news would say Chelsea for prez. He added. Chelsea apparently felt compelled to write back with the following. Good morning Mr. President. It would never have occurred to my mother or my father to ask me. Were you giving our country away? Hoping not. What do you think of this controversy?